Hi, I'm Lou, and I normally smoke meat on this Kamado Joe, which is just like a green egg. A buddy of mine wants to get into smoking, but he doesn't want to lay out this kind of cash, so I told him I'd build him a smoker. I designed and built this concrete block Kamado for under $50, which can be built in under five minutes with no tools, and it works surprisingly well. As evidenced by this falling apart final product. In parts, we'll need four regular concrete blocks, four bricks, 15 half concrete blocks, black spray paint, a meat thermometer, a 10 by 14 tile, a 11 by 16 grate, and a 2 foot by 2 foot piece of plywood. You can get the concrete blocks and wood at your local hardware store, and I'll provide Amazon links to these in my video description. Spray paint your plywood to make it look better and protect it from the rain. Okay, let's build it. We'll start with one, two, three blocks for the base. This block up here is for air holes. Here's a block for the back. Two blocks for this side. Two blocks for this side. You put your four bricks in here in the corners. Lay the tile in here with air holes all the way around. Four more blocks. Now scoot the front block and back block in just a little bit so that will hold up the grate. Now four more blocks. And these last two blocks in front. Finally our lid goes on right like that. Slide your lid back and your meat thermometer goes right here. If you can get your hands on a drill, it's even better to drill a hole like that at an angle and stick the thermometer in like this. I got this pork shoulder butt on sale for $2 a pound. Most people simply throw this whole hunk of meat on the smoker. Some guys will cut one inch deep slits in their meat this way and this way in an attempt to let more smoke get in. I've taken that to the extreme and I actually have this thing cut into one inch thick steaks that I'll smoke for one hour and then bundle back up to finish the cook. All this extra surface area also allows me to get a lot more rub on the meat. You can't cut these steaks yourselves because of the bone in them but most butchers will do it for free. If you're new to smoking, I'd suggest you start out with plain old charcoal so you don't have to worry about the white smoke and creosote content of hardwood. Open your air vent. You can use lighter fluid, but it kind of has a bad taste, so I prefer torches. There's our smoke, and here goes our heat barrier. Next goes the grate and the meat. Here we are smoking away at 225 degrees. My front air hole is about one inch wide and I just put a stick on the back ledge to create an air hole in the back. You may be wondering why we can get away with a wooden top. We're smoking at around 200 degrees and wood doesn't catch fire until 300 to 350. We didn't paint the underside of this lid and as you can see this wood hasn't burned at all. 30 minutes into the smoke and this little guy is really holding its temperature well. I've still got my inch air gap down here and I'm running about 215 to 220 up here. Let's take a look at our meat. Looking pretty good so far and I like to flip it over at 30 minutes to make sure the other side gets smoked too. And it's really easy to throw in a little more charcoal to give us a little more smoke. Here we are at one hour. And this little guy is still holding about 215 degrees. And look at that. Okay, now I'm going to pull it all out. You can see the melted fat down on the ceramic plate. Now I'm going to take each piece of meat and put it on a piece of foil. Fold up the edges into a boat. Pour a little bit of beef or chicken broth on it. And wrap it up the rest of the way. And back out they go for the rest of the cook. I added a lot more charcoal to finish this long haul cook, so the temperature went up quite a bit. To counteract that, I simply had to close this air vent completely. And on the back side, I took this little stick out and put in that two inch diameter stick. And for the last 30 minutes, we've been dead on 225. Here we are six hours later, and as with any good smoke, it's dark outside. 
Let's go open them up. So how did we do? Let's take a look. Oh my gosh, that looks pretty good. Okay guys, look at this stuff shredding really easily. And look at that pink smoke ring on this piece of meat here. I think we did all right. Let's just taste a piece. Oh yeah, we hit it. Here's all the pulled pork. Thanks for watching.